Hello, did you want to install Windows 11, but don't know, if your PC has UEFI Secure Boot activated? No problem. Just go to Windows search bar and type in System Information, click on it. You should find BIOS mode, there has to stand UEFI and not Legacy, and Secure Boot stand has to be supported or on, and not unsupported or off. So if you have UEFI and Secure Boot on, then make also sure, that TPM is activated. You need to also enable it, to be able, to install Windows 11. How to check if TPM is enabled and if it's disabled how to enable it? Just go to the right corner now, the video will appear now or go into the video description. If you already have enabled both things, then watch my Windows 11 installation tutorial, where I will show you, how to get the latest, newest Windows 11 ISO build and how we can make a completely clean install from USB stick to our PC. However if you have not UEFI and also not secure boot enabled, then you have to restart your PC. We have to go into your BIOS, when the PC starts, press delete key, escape, F12 or other F number keys. Mostly these are the keys to get into your BIOS. It depends on your motherboard, which key it is, for my MSI mainboard, it was the delete key. If you want to go into your BIOS, just do the same like me. Now we are in the BIOS, each BIOS looks slightly different, but each BIOS has a similar structure. At the top should be Stand Advanced, click on there. Go to something like Settings, then on Boot and search there for something like Boot Mode, where already stands UEFI or Legacy. Change the value to UEFI, the option must have only UEFI or it really isn't UEFI. So change it to UEFI. Next, go back to Settings, go to Advanced or something like that, and then on Windows OS Configuration. Change the BIOS mode from CSM to UEFI, then go to Secure Boot. Enable the Secure Boot, but currently we can't activate it. We have to enroll some keys, to do it. But before we do it, let's restart our PC, that the changes we have made, we can save. Go to Settings, then on Save and Exit. Save Changes and Reboot, yes. When the PC starts, press again your key, where you can get to the BIOS. Then we'll go again to the settings in advance to the Windows OS configuration and then on Secure Boot, we set the Secure Boot mode to Custom now, so that we can select the Enroll All Factory Default Keys function. Press on it, yes, we have to restart our PC again. When the PC starts, press your BIOS key again. Now we directly go to Settings, Advanced, Windows OS configuration. The BIOS mode should be UEFI. So go to Secure Boot, and now we can finally enable Secure Boot. Now press F10 or go to Exit, where you select Save Changes and Reboot, yes. Congratulations now you can start your PC normally and UEFI Secure Boot should be enabled. So now, when you want to install Windows 11, you should also check if TPM is enabled. I have also a video for it, how to check if it's enabled or disabled, and if it's disabled, how to enable it. If you already did it. You can watch my Windows 11 installation tutorial, where I show you, how to get the latest, newest Windows 11 ISO build and how we can make a completely Windows 11 clean install from USB stick to our PC. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up to this video. You can also subscribe to my channel, I will upload more Windows 11 videos and other very interesting and useful Windows software videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.